Hi, this is Mr. Wong with Wong Way Counseling, and today I'm following up with californiacolleges.edu. Again, this is a website for students and parents to find resources and information regarding, regarding colleges. You know, are you looking to go to um, community college, UC, or CSU? Okay, how to apply to college, college information, colleges and their majors. You may look into financial aid and how to pay for your college. But today we're going to look at careers and try to find some motivation and some careers that might be what fits your personality. So let's take a look at careers. I'm going to do the career drop down and click on interest profile. Right now, if you are a student, um, your district might have a sign in. You may sign in. I'm going to do it without a sign in. Just for example. So the first thing is go down here and you're going to answer your questions. It's going to decide how much you'd like to or dislike each task. Afterwards, I'm going to review um, a profile of what it tells my responses, uh, describe my personality, and then I'm going to explore careers. How do my personality matches what um, careers would match my personality? Like if I'm analytical, then it's probably going to um, suggest accounting or math related jobs. So let's get started. First question is, uh, how would you like to, how would you like to build kitchen cabinets? I'm just not a, I like it, but I'm the details. So I'm just going to dislike I'm, I'm not, it's too detailed. Lay brick or tile. Well, I've done that a lot in my life. And right now, uh, that's just my back. Can't handle it. Develop a new medicine. Um, this is what my brother does. Um, I would like to do it. Um, I'm not that strong in medicine, but I think it'd be awesome. Uh, my niece is also doing on developing medicines as well. Study ways to reduce water pollution. I really like this idea just because I want to help back um, with some of my hobbies. Write books or plays. Well, I'm not like that. That sounds like fun. I've always enjoyed writing and being creative. Next, play a musical instrument. Um, I've done that, like it, enjoy it. Teach an individual and an exercise routine. Well, I was a coach for many years. I think I'm a coach at heart. I like to teach uh, my sons how to run, <laughs> run routes and things like that. Help people with personal or emotional problems. Um, hey, that's what I do on a daily basis and good thing I enjoy doing it. Buy and sell stocks and bonds. I actually like um, I did this straight out of college. I got a Series 6 and 63 and sold mutual funds. Um, I like it, but I'm not a big fan of selling because it is like going to school. I always felt like I had homework to do. Would you like to manage a retail store? Um, I like to manage, but unsure. It sounds like a big project. How would you like to uh, develop a spreadsheet using computer software? Uh, it seems like a lot of analytical. Proofread records or forms? Oh, I did that at one time and it was okay, but it got very tiresome. Um, repair household appliances. I've tried this with my neighbors. Still finding issues with the appliances I fixed, so I'm going to say I probably dislike. Raise fish in a fish hatchery. Ah, I like that. Um, I actually visited some UC Davis professors in their fish hatcheries, the Sturgeon fish hatcheries, and I wish I had gone into that field. Uh, conduct chemical experiments. Um, yeah, that sounds like fun. Next. How would you like to study the movement of planets? I do that on my personal side. Wouldn't mind getting paid for doing that. Compose or arrange music. Um, I'm not like, oh, that's not my forte. Draw pictures. I like to draw fish. But if I got paid, I'd be happy. Give career guidance to people. Hey, I do that all the time. Perform rehabilitation therapy on their mind or on their muscles. Um, I like doing that. That's part of coaching, I think, is helping your players get better faster. Operate a beauty salon or a barbershop. I um, actually cut um, my fraternity brother's hair at college at Davis, so that was fun. Manage a department within a large company. Oh, never mind. Um, install software across computer room, just like operate a calculator. Mm, I do that, not my favorite. Assemble electronic parts. 
Um, how would you like to drive a truck, deliver packages? Or I actually enjoy driving, especially if I have good music. So I got paid good money. Examining blood samples using a microscope. Hmm, unsure. Investigate the cause of a fire. That'd be interesting. Create special effects for a movie. That looks like a lot of fun. Paint sets for a play. I wish I knew ahead of time that was a career, but we actually had that at COHS. We had people who on a full-time basis created sets for our stage. Do volunteer work at a nonprofit organization. Yeah, feel good. Teach children how to play sports. I like doing that. Start your own business. That'd be fun. Negotiate business contracts. I always like the idea of negotiating. Keep shipping and receiving records. Um, that's nah, two um, responsibilities. Calculate the wages of employees. No. Test the quality of parts before shipments. That would be fun. If I could just test things out and see if they work. Um, report and install locks. Hmm. Nah, just too unsure. Develop a way to better predict weather. Ah, I would be a millionaire. Working in a biology, biology lab. Ah, like my brother and my nieces. Um, probably, I don't know if I could work inside a lab. How would you like to write scripts for movies and television shows? That sounds like fun. Perform jazz or tap dance? Not my nieces do that. I hurt my ankles. Teach sign language to people? No, I don't think I can do that. Help conduct group therapy sessions? I do that with children. Um, represent a client in a lawsuit? Oh, that sounds like um, TV fun. Would you like to market a new line of clothing? That would be fun. I'm, I've always enjoyed marketing. Marketing is a career um, in business, but you can still be creative. Um, but it makes you lots of money. Inventory supplies using a handheld computer. I'm just not a record keeper. Record, rent, payment, record rent payments. Set up and operate machines to make products. Hmm, I'm not sure if I do that correctly. I'll probably break it. Put out forest fires. That sounds like hot. Um, invent a replacement for sugar. Well, that'd be fun. Do a laboratory test to identify diseases. Again, pharmaceuticals. Sing in a band. That would be fun. Reminds me of my roommate in Davis. Uh, we had uh, nice, fun band parties in a little three-bedroom apartment. Edit movies. That's what I do all the time, and I enjoy doing that. Take care of children at a daycare center. I have two children myself, 13 and 16, and I really am glad they're no longer <laughs> younger and they can feed themselves. So, probably not. How would you like to teach class, a class, a high school class? I've done that. Um, it was enjoyable, but it was tiring. Uh, sell merchandise at a department store. I like to sell things. Manage a clothing store. Eh, still. Keep inventory records. I still don't like to keep records. Stamp, sort, and distribute mail for an organization. This sounds um, like it, it'd get tiresome. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so based on my answers, it says that um, realistic-wise, investigative, artistic, social, enterprising, conventional. Let's start with what I am most likely not. So conventional is saying people with conventional interests like work that follows set procedures and routines. They prefer working with information and, and paying attention to details rather than working with ideas. They like working with clear rules and following a strong leader. So what I've realized and I try to tell students this is if they have a, a, a teacher that assigns them a project, if they're conventional, uh, they would prefer working with information with a lot of details. They want conventional and they want the teachers to give them guidelines and a set of rules to follow. They would be terrified if the teacher said, here's your project, go ahead and be creative. Okay, interconventional students, um, they just have a challenging uh, part of um, getting started. So it says I'm enterprising. People with enterprising interests like work that has to do with starting up and carrying out business projects. These people like taking action rather than thinking about things. They like persuading and leading people, making decisions, and taking risks with profits. Um, I've always wanted to open my own business. I've always liked to sell things. I think I really enjoyed learning from my grandmother who owned an import store in Oakland. Um, I always thought it was a lot of fun. So I can see how um, enterprise is part of my personality. 
social, people's social interests like working with others to help them learn and grow. They like working with people more than working with objects, machines, or information. They like teaching, giving advice, and helping and being of service to other people. Wow, this kind of sounds like a school counselor. Imagine that. Next, artistic. People with artistic interests like work that deals with artists, artistic sides of things, such as acting, music, art, and design. They like creativity in their work and work that can be done without following a set of rules. So this is very opposite of conventional students who are artistic. Again, they would like a teacher who provides them with an open platform, a blank sheet to start with. They do not want to have a set of rules and guidelines to follow. Next is investigative. People with investigative interests like work that has to do with ideas and thinking rather than physical activity and leading people. They like searching for facts and figuring out problems. So people who are investigative, they like to find what's wrong with problems and how can they fix them. So a lot of people with this personality, you'll find they go into like mechanical engineering um, in different areas, um, primarily maybe a science field in exploration of the next cure for cancer. All right, the last one is realistic. People with realistic interests like work that includes practical, hands-on problems and answers. Often people with realistic interests do not like careers that involve paperwork or working closely with others. They like working with plants and animals, real world materials like wood, tools, and machinery and outside work. So people with realistic personalities are going to be pretty much opposite of a social personality. Okay, they like to do individual work, they like to work outside. Um, maybe you might be somebody who goes out and surveys for your company. Um, so that would be an interesting personality to understand. So I tell students to understand their personalities to get an idea of as far as the careers, but also understand their personalities to better understand their teachers. So instead of careers right now, use this information to see and relate to your teachers. Understand that this is your personality and this might be the weaknesses you have when you try to communicate with your teachers. So find out what your personality is and then try to use it to benefit yourself in um, your education. So the next part would be kind of finding careers and show careers that match your personality. So based on my personality matches, these are the careers that California colleges are recommending. So it says atmospheric, earth, marine, and space. Wow, okay, put this, this tells you the education level needed to get this job. It tells you how much on average this they, they make, okay, and how much of a match this is based on my personality. Okay, that's very interesting. Post-baccalaureate, which is a master's degree, which you're looking at about six years plus in education. But oftentimes, the pay scale also increases as well. Broadcast news analyst. I think if this was, um, if I were in high school now, I feel like I would have gone into broadcast or news analyst. I really enjoy that area, and it was a lot of fun when I was at Kissimmee Associates High School. Uh, they had a broadcast journalism program, and it was it was just a lot of fun bringing the news to people. Next one, clinical psychologist. So they have a list of careers based on my personality, my interest inventory that it suggested. So you can compare by clicking on different careers and you can click up here and compare the careers like what are the difference between these two careers you can click on here and they'll tell them side by side. So careers tells you atmospheric next to the broadcasting tells you salaries matches but you can analyze different careers some are very close together so you want to um, put them together to see you know the minute differences. What I like students to do is to actually click on the career itself. So if you have a question, what does a counseling psychologist do? Or what is a criminal justice law? And, or you can go down and say, wow, 92,000, what's industrial organization psychologists do? So you can click on this, the title of the career, and it'll take you to another page which tells you everything about that career. So an industrial organization psychologist, what do they do? Their responsibilities, their work activities, they even have a video here to watch. So you can scroll through here and read about what these people would do as a day-to-day -day job basis. Okay, 
So you can keep scrolling down, it tells you salary, it tells you educational level. Most industrial organization psychologists have post-doctorate training, doctorate level or master's degree. So you're looking at six to eight years of education. We'd like to encourage students to go and click on these view colleges because it now tells you what colleges offer the programs to get this job that pays 92,000 a year. So what does it take to become this psychologist, counseling or organizational psychologist? You have to have a major generally in one of these two areas, either psychology in general, which is going to be a lot of colleges, I'm sure, or you can be a more um, specific, more pinpoint major called industrial and organizational psychology. And that'll give you an upper hand if you're looking for that particular position. So let's see what colleges offer this major. I'm going to click on view colleges. And these are the colleges that offer these majors. And so you can go down and you can scroll. Oh, Chicago School of Professional Center. That, okay, let's find out more. Oh, Clemson, I've heard about them. They're, they're orange and white. I've seen them on, um, watch their football team. But I've never really looked into the college. Let's look. It's a, it's a four-year college. You have about 24,000 uh, size. They have 24,000 students. Um, let's click on Clemson University and learn more about Clemson University here. So I clicked on Clemson University in South Carolina. It tells you where it's at. It gives you some information. You can go to campus community. You can talk, look at admissions. $70 to apply to Clemson University. Application when they're due. What the requirements are. Do you have to take SAT or ACT? Okay, acceptance rate. Typical SAT score, ACT score. Okay, let's look at the cost. Tuition for in-state students. So if you live in-state, your tuition is 15000 If you are from California and you plan to attend Clemson University, your tuition alone is going to be about $37,000. Then you can add that on room and board, additional fees, books, supplies. Okay, so the total out-of-state from California, you're looking at $53,000. If, if you live in, in South Carolina, you're looking at $31,000. So that's... That's definitely the benefits because your parents are paying in-state taxes to offset your um, state college costs. So we're looking at financial aid. This would give you a breakdown. Okay, priorities. Um, FAFSA. I have a video on FAFSA if you are interested. Everybody should look to complete your FAFSA early as possible. I think it opens up this year, October 1st. Um, the money is given away first come, first serve. So I would apply early. Um, if possible, let's look at degrees and majors offered at the school. These are all degrees and majors you can look through bachelor's, master's degrees, all offered at Clemson University. As Clemson University offers sports, do you want to go to a school that doesn't have a big football program? Does it matter to you? It matters to a lot of people, and some people want to attend a big college football game or a big college basketball game. So, looking at Clemson, yes, they have basketball, they have basketball, track. Um, women's and men's soccer golf so this gives you idea sports transfers any sports services okay so we'll go back to the main page if you want to visit the actual website you can click there so this is give you a good overview of California colleges I started with an interest inventory which gives you a personal identification of your personalities which then recommends uh, careers based on your personality for you to explore and to see if this is something that you're interested in. Okay, so that's Mr. Wong with Wong Way Counseling, and I hope this helps.